now when you start a new year and you've spent most of your year anticipating and waiting for something and then the year ends and you start a new year and you're still in the waiting phase that becomes much more difficult because you know with new year you have uh, new year's resolutions but you can't even set those because you do not have a clear way forward Hello lovely viewers and welcome to another episode of Navigating with Joki where I share insights on working in the cruise industry. Get inspired, discover beautiful destinations and let's sell together. In this episode I'm going to explain to you how long it has taken me from my application time all the way up to when I got my assignment for my cruise job and lessons that I've taken with me in that waiting phase. So if you've been a follower, you would know that I did my cruise job interview last year in March with Castaway. I'll put the link somewhere up here or you can follow my TikTok page and see how to go about the application with them. I have a detailed video explaining the processes that I needed to do for me to be able to move on to the main interview, matters with the getting police clearance, matters with COVID vaccination certificates, etc., etc. So I'll link that video somewhere up here and then you can refer to that. So once I did my main interview, I got the LOE end of end, end of March. And then in April, I proceeded to book my visa and medicals. Uh, the date that I got for visa was a little bit far off because on my LOE it stated that my reporting date was around June. I think it had said I would report on June, 4th of June something. Um, and the interview date that I was getting was much, much ahead of June because I think it was visa, visa date the one I was getting was July or something. But yeah, I booked and I managed to reschedule. That's another video you should watch on how to book your, to do your C1D visa booking, what you should know in Uh I don't want to give you so many links, but yeah, search through my, my, my videos and then you'll be able to see that. So I managed to reschedule my interview and then I did my interview in May eventually. Uh, that's for the visa. I did my medicals as well and everything went okay. As of the end of May, I had submitted all documents and I was ready to board. So the next thing they did um, gave me my gave me my logins for the cruise cell service where you get your assignment. And also they gave me access to the training platform that's called Gladys. I've done videos on all these guys. This is just a summary of what has been, what the whole process has been like. So that is by June ahead access to um, the platforms. So the only thing left to do was to just wait for assignment. And I waited June, now from the time I submitted the documents, I waited June, July, August. Uh, there were rumors that most assignments would come in around November. So we waited. Um, there were other people who I knew and we were waiting for assignments, so at least there was some encouragement there, you know, being in, uh, in the waiting place with others. Comes November, I didn't get assigned. I figured maybe I'll get assigned by December latest, because I knew Princess was launching their new ship, the Sun Princess. Um, so I was like, probably um, I'll be scheduled in December or January. So I waited the uh, end of November, nothing. December came, nothing. In the waiting phase, I had a battle with God where I questioned him on how comes up through me, other, other people are able to like flourish and get this information and, you know, and I can see them, um, I can see people getting to, getting back to me on DM, on, on email, um, a few on WhatsApp. And telling me, hi, I've been able to secure the interview. Hey, I passed my visa interview. And I celebrate that. I celebrate each and every one of you who has gotten information from my page and been able to maximize it. And, you know, you've been able to grow your career. But now my battle with God was how, why, I, why, why, why do I have this void in me where I feel so uncertain? Yet I know you chose me for a purpose and for a reason. And... And that reason is equally me being able to assist others. Yet I feel like 
I'm not able to help myself out of this situation. I'm not able to help myself out of this waiting phase. The difficulty of this came in, especially when 80% of the people we were, we were in the waiting phase with got their assignments in November. And a few of us now were left um, waiting for assignments. Now, when you start a new year and you spend most of your year anticipating and waiting for something, and then the year ends and you start a new year and you're still in the waiting phase, that becomes much more difficult because, you know, with New Year, you have uh, New Year's resolutions, but you can't even set those because you do not have a clear way forward. Somewhat you want to have faith and believe that, you know, next this is the month, but there comes January, first of January, 2nd, 10th, January 15th. It's end month January and still you don't have an assignment. You, Sometimes we end up in this comparison phase where you're comparing people who have already gone and maybe they started the process later than you. But what, what's important to understand is that your timing and other people's timings, your path and other people's path have nothing to do with each other. It's all about what God has set out for you. Because I figured there are other people who are in a different situation, difficult situations, people who... Uh, praying for just an interview, success with just getting an interview, people who are praying for just passing the visa, you know. And I am in this phase where all those prayers have been answered and the only pending thing is just an assignment Then I get to board. So I did a, I did a lot of uh, reflecting on how my life has been, where I've come from. It's very important to know where you've come from for you to be able to see God's grace in your life. I looked at where I've come from, what God has already done for me, why am I doubting him in this phase? And yeah, I continued to just wait and just wait. And eventually, guys, Drawls, eventually my assignment came. Uh it came last week. So as I'm shooting, um I'm counting one day to my boarding date. I'll be boarding today's on Friday. I'll be boarding on Sunday. And what can I say? It's been a journey. It's been long because just to give, just to summarize it, from the time that I did the application to the time when I've gotten the assignment. And by the application, I mean from the time I was invited for my first interview to the time now when I've gotten my assignment, it's been exactly 11 months. Yes, 11 months. So this process is to take time. For some people, it's a shorter period. For some people, it's a longer period. Because I recall there are some people who we were doing and booking the visa with, and they left a month later. So depending on your position, depending on your path, depending on God's plans, you know, for some people, it will take shorter time. For some people, it will take a longer time. All you have to understand and what is God teaching me through this what am I learning in this space? Because in every situation that God has put you through or put you in, there's something for you to learn. Maybe you're gaining more mental strength. Maybe you're regaining your relationship with him, your spirituality. Maybe it's he's taking you through these tough times so that when you get to the ship, nothing, or when you get to the next opportunity, nothing will be too difficult for you, you know. So, so it was really, really difficult, I'll say that. But I kept my relationship with God. And other than that, also having support from my family, Castaway also. I mean, God bless Castaway because I swear, I don't want to swear, but I know if I wasn't getting, if I wasn't recruited through Castaway, I think, I don't know how they've managed that whole thing. Because when they kept on checking on me, you know, um, the person who was handling me, her name is Maps. She kept on checking on me, encouraging me. It was it was more of a personal relationship. The way they handle you, the way they handled me, it was more personal and less like you're just one of the people we've recruited. I really, really thank God that I had to go through it with Castaway, and also like another thing that really kept helped me keep my head high was uh, listening to podcasts and listening to some sermons. I'll link one of the sermons that I felt like was really encouraging for me during that phase because 
it's difficult you can't do this just by yourself trust me you need you need to fill your mind with other thoughts other than the thoughts of every day waking up and feeling um like there's something missing in your life you know you have to recognize the little things that are already there in your life that you're grateful for as you anticipate and pray and await the bigger things like your assignment if you're in this phase of waiting whether it's on a cruise job or any other opportunity remember to recognize what has already been done for you you know and it will also help you be able to set your mind in a place where you feel fulfilled other in a place where you feel empty and unworthy i remember also during that phase watching one of the vlogs or videos on youtube by quasi quasi johar i'll link it up here or rather where he gets into details of the power of your mind you know what you allow your mind to think eventually manifests into your reality if you allow your mind to think that oh um maybe i'm not going to get the assignment or maybe you know it's actually those maybe maybe i was very conscious of what i was allowing to go into my mind i was not allowing uh, doubts from others or negativity to be part of what i want my mind to focus on i would wake up uh, listen to my sermons in the morning so that i have a fulfilled day and sometimes i would do some journaling where i would like list the things that i've ever prayed for and god answered those things so that now it helps you be able to trust in him like if he has answered all these 100 things in my life why would this one last part be not be answered you know try to look at that situation from that perspective so yeah guys it's been long it's been demanding mentally physically emotionally spiritually but we can do this i did it you can do it just trust in god and trust the process when the right when the time is right god will make it right you know and avoid comparing your journey to other people's journeys because their blessing is different from your blessing and no matter the time it takes eventually your blessing will find you yeah and i hope uh, this video encourages somebody who is in the waiting phase whether it's waiting for an interview uh in terms of they've sent the application whether it's waiting for a visa interview whether it's waiting for the assignment whether it's waiting for any other opportunity i hope this video gives you some encouragement Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And until next time, thanks and bye.